in the woods Morning guys, I'm Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School. I wanted to share a little quick tip or trick with you today about a suspension system that you can make very simple um, using a piece of cordage for your pot over the fire. Makes it very simple to adjust this pot forward or back to get it closer to the fire or away from the fire. Also makes it very easy to swing it on and off the fire and it's a very simple system. Two sticks and a piece of string and you're home free. So I'll show you that in just a minute. Stay with me guys. Okay guys, I want to show you a quick tip or trick today on how to make yourself a real easy pot hanger for over your fire out of wood. And I've never seen this method used in any of the bushcraft books before. Um, a lot of times they'll use different types of hooks and setups with swing arms and things like that or across the fire with hooks going down made out of wood. But I've never seen something set up quite like this before. And I came up with this a while ago and I thought I'd share it with you now. And basically it's pretty simple. All I've done was I've taken this long stick. I've got a fork here. I'll swing this thing around so you guys can see that fork. I'm going to turn this in the hole. Okay. I've got a fork on this end. And when you're putting a fork into the ground like that, what you want to do for cooking or whatever you're going to do with it, you want to make sure that it's a stick that's sticking out of the side. So you can hammer on the top without splitting the fork out. You don't want just a fork because then you're not going to be able to hammer it in. So you want something that's like this. So you can hammer on this and you're not going to affect your hook. So that's where our fork's at. And then I've just got a long stick across here. And I've carved a couple notches to put pots on up there. And one notch back here to hang on to my lever string. And this is basically like any trap string. Um, any kind of a lever system for a trap. And now what I can do with this is I've cut a notch down here as well. And I've just wrapped around there and tied a square knot and a piece of bank line, not a big deal, and adjusted it to where I wanted the tension. And I've just tied an overhand knot here with a loop to go in this notch. It's a pretty simple concept. Now, all I do with this, I'll turn this back over the fire. If I want to lift this pot higher off the fire, I can just back this up. This lever's going to hold it in place, okay? And if it swings one way or the other a little bit, I need to adjust it. I can just turn my stake. It's not that big of a deal. If I want it closer to the fire, I can just move this thing forward. But either way, this tension line is going to hold it in place. So I can back it off as much as I want to to raise it up, or I can move it forward as much as I want to to drop it down. It's not going to make that much of a difference. Now, if I want to take this whole thing off the fire, you know, I can just back this, I can just push this forward and get this release loop off of here, just like this, okay, and pick it up off the fire. Or I can leave this over the fire if I want to. Put my, put my loop back on here real quick. I can leave this over the fire because of the way I've got my pot bale set up with that system that we showed in the other video. I can just take, what I've done is I've dropped the circular part of the spring down on top of my pot notch. So now I can really just swing this in here and pick it up and take it straight off. Okay, or I can put it back in there and adjust it where I want it. If I want to put it on the second notch, I can do that just as easy. If I want to put it back on the first notch, I can do that. And I've just got it sitting sideways in there. You can see that, how it's just friction held in there by that notch. And then I can, like I said, I can adjust this to get closer or further away from the fire, depending on where I need it. So this system works pretty good. You're not carving, you know, a hundred pieces of wood for this. You need one stick with a fork in it, you need one straight stick, and you got to carve three or four notches real quick. Just saw them in there with your baco and pop them out, just like I show in my book. And, you know, you're pretty much set to cook over the fire. And you're going to get your water heated up a lot quicker above the fire because the hottest part of the flame is actually, you know, about two centimeters above where the flame is. It's not right down in the coals. It's really not the hottest part of the fire unless you've got a lot of oxygen going to that fire. The best part is to have it in the flames. So if you can suspend your pot over the fire, you're going to get heat faster as far as boiling your water or cooking your food if you can suspend it and not put it in the coals. That's part of the purpose of the Pathfinder pack stove was to kind of lift your water bottle or cup up above the coals and you set that thing right down in the coals, put your cup on top of that, and you still have aeration underneath to let oxygen get underneath there and get that heat to rise. 
this is a pretty good little system and if you want to you know you can swing this whole thing out of the way just by swinging that stake then you can swing it completely away from your fire when you're not cooking and when you get ready to cook you can just swing the whole thing back in adjust it where you need it for the height of your flames or the size of your coal bed and you're ready to rock and roll like i said if you want to take it off you can just stick it right into that loop and pull it off the fire and set it aside to cool or you can just swing it off the fire to let it cool just as easy it doesn't matter either way you want to do it you can set that there and you can swing the whole arm out of the way like that and let it cool like that well I appreciate you guys joining me for another video today out here a little tip and trick video on a pot hanging system for the fire I appreciate your views, I appreciate your support, I appreciate everything that you do for me, my family, and my school, and all the Pathfinder affiliate companies out there. We appreciate your business and we thank you for your support. I'll be back with another video as soon as I can.